It's take your kid to work day. Diesel, we're going trucking. We're going trucking. Wait till you see what I built you for your birthday. You're going to be so impressed with the handiwork, the craftsmanship, the carpentry skills. <laughs> he was so excited this morning because I told him yesterday already that tomorrow you're going to come down the truck with me. We're going on a trip. He knows what that means. Spent nine years over the road with me. And so for the past maybe three quarter year, he's been at home enjoying retirement. Today, Diesel is happy to announce he is coming back, making a comeback, coming out of retirement because he loves you guys so much. I don't know if he's going to come with me every day or not, but uh, he'll be with me some days. He's going to be with me today. We're going to go get the truck ready and uh, start trucking. Well, Diesel, are you ready to go trucking? I think I'm just as excited as you are. Let me get my stuff in there first and I'll get your steps out and then you can take your steps up so you don't hurt yourself, okay? You're 10 years old now, man, let's not forget. Just in case. All right, I got the seat covers in. It's an old truck, but I'm still gonna do my best to protect it. So with diesel in here, seats are covered so that uh, if I ever move out of this truck, all I really gotta do is vacuum up and take the seat covers off and don't gotta worry about him getting the seats all dirty, or, you know. Okay, I gotta put the bed, bedding in here now. One second, diesel, okay? We're almost ready. Shouldn't have put my stuff on top of your stuff. Your stuff needs to go in first. Oh, Zach. Oh, boy. Okay. Just wait one second, okay? We're not quite ready yet. This pillow is for the middle. Not sure yet if I want to have this pillow here or not today. Because I might put his water bowl there. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. We got this pillow here. Like that, I think that'll be good. I don't think I even need the other pillow because that's a king size pillow. It's pretty big. One second, Diesel. One second. Okay, and then here I've got his blanket. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? Okay, so he's got this, that, and that there, though that pillow may move to here. So I do need a place to uh, put his water bowl. We'll try on there. We'll try it out and see what happens. Okay, yeah, we did change it around just a little bit. Uh, that can be where his water bowl goes in the back there. That's not going to be there. This is his water bowl, so I can cover it up while we're moving. I'll just go on top of my lunch kit there. I think I gotta figure it out. I think I gotta figure it out. Let's uh, park the pickup and get the weasel in here. See what he thinks. Let's get his first impressions. All right. Okay, do you wait? See the moment you've been waiting for, right? <laughs> I'm ready, man. Okay. Come this way. You wanna go to the bathroom first? Okay. I'll start walking this way. He'll follow me. Come on, boy. Oh, yes! Going on a truck ride, going on a trip. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, what's this? What's this over here? Oh, I haven't seen this in so long. Oh, hello. Okay, Diesel, I'm gonna set up your steps, okay? Come on, Zach, I got them right here. You remember these? Okay. 
second. I want to show you guys. Diesel. <laughs> I said one second. Sorry, buddy. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. I don't want to wait. Wait. Wait one second. One second. I got to figure this out. This is a different truck than our last one. One second. Okay, go. <laughs> Straight onto my seat, of course. Come here. Try it your bed. What do you think? What do you think? Happy birthday, man. Belated birthday. Yeah? You okay with that? Good boy. Watch yourself. Don't pinch your toes. There you go. Back where he belongs. On his weasel throne. Oh my goodness, this truck is way smaller than the last one, man. What did you do? My goodness, man, this thing is small. What do you do to your back, man? Why do you take that off? Okay, Diesel, that's why I built you your bed right there. Okay? It's just for the day. And we can go home after. And see Chevy, and Mom, and Wiener, and Frank, everybody. But first, we're going to go do some trucking. Oh, my. At least he's a pedo belt, man. All right, Diesel. We're all hooked up. We have a roll tight behind us. You ready to go? Hold on to your butt cheeks. Here we go. Okay, the mean diesel will just find something to do. Go for a walk. 
right? Yeah, you like that? <laughs> I said the W word. So we made it here to Toulon and the shipper's not quite ready for us yet. Be probably uh, well, at least a half hour to an hour. So in the meantime, Diesel, you wanna go outside? Yeah, I'm gonna get your steps ready, okay? You just wait there, you wait there. I'm gonna go with this side, you're gonna go with that side, okay? We gotta get used to this again, right? This is my door. All right, I'll come around to that side, okay? So I've got the steps strapped to my headache rack in the back here. I'm gonna take that down and set them up there. Oh, this feels good. This feels right. Feels so good to have them with me again. Really glad I built that bed. So he's been doing really good today. Really good. He was super excited in the morning. I think the truck's a little louder than he was expecting. It's a lot louder than the old truck we were in. The highway truck was so quiet and this one's, uh, oh, this one's got some pipes on her. And he wasn't quite ready for that, so I think the sound made him nervous for the first little while, but he quickly got used to it. And then he quickly got used to the bed, figured out that he could lay down and stretch out. We hit the highway and he went to sleep. <laughs> Just like old times. Got a little grass area back back here behind the truck stop. I don't really think I, I need him on the leash right now. There's no one else around. We're way out here in the countryside. Diesel, come here. Diesel, come here. You gonna listen to me? You're gonna be good? Come here, buddy. I wanna take your collar off. Come on, come here. And he's gone. <laughs> Diesel, this way. This way. There you go. There's a happy weasel. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to the truck for now. Go pick up our load. Come on, Diesel. They should be ready for us soon. Not bad getting in and out for the first time. <laughs> here, let's give you some water. I got it in here so it doesn't splash out. There you go. Here, let me hold that up for you. There you go. It's all yours, buddy. And we got more. If you need it, we got lots. You hang tight in there, Diesel. 
Gotta open this up. Come, come with me. high-tech brake system in place here. Oh, let's get one of these. All right. There you go. Oops. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll grab a different one then. There we go. It's not going anywhere. There's our freight right there. One, two, three, four. I believe that's it. If that's not it, it's something very similar to that. So now that we're here, I'm just gonna go sit in the truck and wait. Oh, I should grab my other glove. I usually wear two gloves, but I didn't want to get you guys all dirty. What's up, Diesel? Except now they're gonna put stuff on our trailer, okay? And quickly tie it down. We can get back to trucking. All right, man. You having fun, Diesel? Having fun? Having an absolute blast, man. It's like, oh, guys, this is doing great. Thanks for the bed. It's very comfy. It's cozy. Thank you. Yeah, good. Yeah, you got your water right here. Don't forget. I just put the lid on it so it doesn't splash while we move around. There you go. That's some weasel water right there. There's more where that came from, okay? You are too good, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna have a little snooze if you don't mind. Just a little weasel nap. There she is, all ready to go. So there's four pieces. Three of them are going to Michigan. One's going to Ohio. Still think of Drew Carey. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Every time I hear the word Ohio. Just gotta lock this in here yet. Buttoned up, ready to go. Diesel, how you doing, bud? You ready to go? I'm ready, man. I was born ready. All right, Weasel. We're all loaded up, tied down. You know what that means? It's time to go trucking, man. Mm-hmm. Lights on for safety. Let's get out of here. I don't know who the lucky driver is that gets to go to Ohio and Michigan with these, but it's a really easy load for you. <laughs> And don't worry, the roll tight is nice and greased. Oh, that's right, I gotta bring the greasable bull snot. I gotta show you guys how much better that stuff is. I'll bring it tomorrow, okay? This trailer was already greased. But I'm sure I will run into one very soon that needs it. And I wanna actually see for myself how much longer it's gonna last with bull snot. I'm going to do all the trailers with it. What do you think, Diesel? You going to help me grease them? So when Britt and I did our budget last month, uh, we're sticking to the budget now. We're going to have to. It's amazing. I think I said, said it to you guys already that it's amazing how much you spend on the little things. I spent like 160 bucks last month just on like coffees and snacks 
and lunches or extra stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, turn the engine brake off. There you go. Yeah, and you know those Starbucks in the mornings, they really add up? I know you guys have been telling me that forever, and I it's not like I was surprised to see it, but I was a little bit shocked at how much I was indulging, buying, you know, snacks here, a little bag of chips here, chocolate bar there, coffee here, coffee there, donut here, you know. Maybe I'd be a little extra hungry after I'd eat my lunch. I'd go out and I'd buy a sandwich just for an extra little bit. I'm not that hungry every day, but some days I'm more hungry. It adds up. So now I'm bringing my own coffee to work. I bring two thermoses, plus I have a cup of coffee at home. All together, that's a full pot of coffee that I drink every day. <laughs> <laughs> but it only costs six eighty-seven for a whole tin of coffee instead of three dollars for one cup of coffee and that tin of coffee will make like uh, I don't know how many pots like 10 15 20 pots somewhere in there all right diesel we're gonna save money diesel got moved on to a new food this month as well because he's uh, I explained that yesterday. He needs more grain in his diet, according to the vet. He's got a little bit of a heart murmur. And uh, the vet advised us to change his diet up a little bit. So we're slowly moving him over. Uh, it's a long process to move a dog over onto a new, uh, a new food without upsetting his stomach. And Diesel's stomach is very sensitive to any changes. So we're, we're slowly, gradually moving him over. It'll take probably about a month, maybe more, maybe two months. We're in no rush. It's not like an immediate thing that has to be done right now. You man, you keep talking about food. Are we having food soon? You gotta wait till you get home, man. You're gonna have a nice supper tonight though. Okay? I forgot to bring treats along. But you did get some of my apple. Okay, don't tell mom that I didn't give you any treats, okay? Because I gave you part of my own apple. And I love apples. There's so many wasps everywhere. Does anybody else have the same problem? As soon as I stop and I open the windows, wasps all over the place. I've been using my hat as a way to whack them out of here. So far I haven't gotten stung, but some guys here have they come to eat the bugs on the front of the truck on the windshield and on the grill and then as soon as you open the window they want to see what's inside the truck too right they're nosy little critters diesel just don't let them sting you okay all right you just punch them in the face but you don't let them sting you back okay that's not very nice i'm not going to punch you poor bee man it's a wasp different than a bee or so i hear i don't know so not nice to hit people, man. Fine then, just ask them nicely to leave the truck. How about that? Diesel, you're getting more exercise in today than if you stayed at home. Who knew, eh? You go trucking and lose weight. How about that? Also got me active. <laughs> He doesn't really need the leash, but while we're in the yard here, uh, with trucks moving around here all the time, they like it if we keep dogs on leash in the yard, at least during business hours. I mean, middle of the night, it's a fenced and locked. I've let Diesel tear around here all the time in the past, but not during business hours. See, we've got a truck coming up behind us there right now. It's just better to, it's like a long leash, so he's got a lot of room to play with, but if he does need to be uh, pulled out from in front of a moving truck or tractor or forklift, you know, I can avoid those situations. There we go, see? Nice long leash. He's not even hit the end of it yet. There's the end. It's actually made in Germany. It's eight meter leash. Got it on Amazon. We're doing one lap around the yard here and then we're probably gonna head home. So we just stay out of the way in the back here behind the trailers. <laughs> Safest place. 
So tomorrow we have our plans already. I'm gonna be grabbing a step deck. Maybe even this one here. Doesn't matter which one I take. Gotta take a step deck down to Thief River again. We're going there twice. It's gonna be a long day. Uh, it's about six hours there and back with loading and unloading, I think. I know you can barely get it done legally with your allotted time on the on the e-log. So it'll be kind of a tight day, a little bit of a long day. We're going to start early and we're going to end late. Uh, but we're going to go on, on two runs. And Diesel's going to come with again tomorrow because I'm going to need the company. And I want to test you guys a little bit. Test your knowledge of trucking companies around Manitoba here. This is a pretty big one. Whose trailer was this at one point? You see the checker pattern on there, right? That should give it away. Anyone from Winnipeg who's been around here for a while will know exactly the company. Let me know down below in the comment section what company used to put a checker pattern on the back of their trailers like that? And who bought them for bonus points? What's the company called now? Fun fact, when I was a kid, my dad used to work for that company before it was bought out. All in a hard day's work, eh, Diesel? Well, I know you want more than that. <laughs> I know you. There's another wasp there. Man, these wasps, they're just everywhere. And he went in the truck. Of course he went in the truck. Because why wouldn't he, right? Now there's a wasp in the truck. Get out of Get! Get! Oh, I smacked him good, Diesel. Probably gonna come back and sting me again. Don't you dare sting my dog. I will fight you. Oh, he's on the ground. He's down. He's down. Oh, he got away. Oh no. Now he's gonna go tell his friends. Well, Diesel, looks like I just started a war. Technically, I think the bees started a war. I mean, they stung me before, unprovoked. Just landed on my finger and stung me. Then again, I have been swatting at them for days. They probably know me as the enemy of the wasps. Yeah, well, bring it on, bud. Right, Diesel? I'll fight a wasp. Are you done with your water? Are you done? You want any more? Now you just want to go in the truck? Okay, one sec. Let me get my lunch kit out of your way here. Beautiful emblem on there. Mm. All right, Diesel. There you go. So I didn't get the Rockstar Welcome today when we got home. Diesel did though. Diesel, you stole my Rockstar Welcome. Chevy had nothing left for me, man. <laughs> Chevy, where are you? Chevy? Oh, he's inside. Oh, he's inside. He's too hot. He wanted to go inside. Let him in. How was your day at home? Yeah? yeah? Lots done? Yeah. Stuff I've been getting behind on. Hi, Wiener. Hi. Diesel. <laughs> Best day ever, man. Best day ever. You tired? No? Still running high on trucking? <laughs> huh? High on life, high on trucking? Yeah. We'll do it again tomorrow. It's gonna to be a bit of a longer day tomorrow though. And we're gonna to go to the US. Oh, you're taking them with again? I think so, yeah. Tell me. Yeah, I'm just driving back and forth between Thief River and, and the yard. Oh Gotta go twice, so it's a perfect day for him to come along. Fair enough. I'll just have yeah. to bring along a little snack for him if it if we're out a little further. Don't forget to bring his updated immunization records. That's right, I gotta bring his vaccine records. Just like us, he needs to have vaccination records when he crosses the border. Actually, as a truck driver, they don't ask for that. Uh, when the Americans come here to visit for non-essential purposes, they have to have proof of vaccination. But as a truck driver, they haven't implemented that yet. I can still cross over without proving. I mean, if they ask, I got it on my phone. It's a digital immunization card. I can show them that I've been immune if they want to, if they want to know. But, I'll have to go get those. 
That's uh, one thing about crossing the border with a pet. If you take your pet to the border and you want to cross either way into Canada or into the US, you got to make sure you have their uh, certificate of vaccination with you, like the copy from the vet that they sign. I just prove that they've had their, you know, the distemper, their rabies, and uh, you know, things like that. Chevy, there you are. How come I didn't get a rock star welcome today? You gave it all to Diesel. I was so excited to see Diesel. I missed him so much. And I miss you too, Dad, a little bit. You want to back out there? Mom put you back inside because you were didn't want to be out there. Now he wants to be back out there. You put him inside. He wants to go outside. Put him outside. He wants to come inside. Children. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Really appreciate it. It was a special day. It was really exciting to have Diesel back on the road. If you liked it, give it the thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe and tune in tomorrow. The Weasel and I are going to be going to America.